Hello, Genesis family. Uh, Dustin McGowan with you all uh, for the last time during our Lent devotional series. It has been an encouragement and it has been a blessing. I'm so uh, glad for uh, the people who have participated and viewed this series. I, I truly hope that you have been blessed and encouraged by it. Uh, we find ourselves in Matthew 27 today in the last portion of uh, the narrative of Jesus' death um, and then his burial. Uh, it, it's very important to uh, highlight a couple of things um, as we see the death of Jesus. And Jesus cries out to his father, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And it echoes the words from Psalm 22, where it says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And why are you so far from my groaning? I call to you in the morning and you do not hear me in the evening. I'm still not silent. Jesus is feeling the weight of what he is carrying. The sin that is on him. That Jesus moves from being the beloved son of God in whom God is well pleased, to now being forsaken by the Father, not because of his own sin, but the gift is this reality that he is forsaken by God because he is carrying our sin. The prophet Isaiah says that we all, like sheep, have gone astray, each one their own way, but God has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That in this moment, Jesus is carrying the sin of all of humanity. But he is the only one who was able to carry it. But that burden at the same time is one that has caused the father to turn his back. Because this is the burden that Jesus must bear alone. We see this uh, echoing the, what happens in Leviticus 16 with the scapegoat, that the burden is laid on the goat and he is called, he is carried to the slaughter, carrying the burdens of all of the sin of Israel. But now Jesus is not just carrying the burden of the sin of Israel, but all of humankind. What a weight, what a lonely experience but what a gift of grace and mercy that Jesus bears this for you and for me it says that he cries out one last time and he gives up his spirit some of the other translation says that he says father into your hands I commend my spirit he gives his life back to God. He is reunited with the Father in death because he has accomplished the task. We see following that there is this very solemn um, environment around the cross that it was once this environment of jeering and mocking, but something shifts in the way in which people are viewing the death of Jesus. And it is said that surely this man was innocent, surely this man was the son of God. That it clicks that, the, that only God, only the son of God could endure the suffering, the shame, and the punishment, and the manner in which he endured it. To not mumble, to not curse, to not respond to the jeering, to not defend himself, but to absorb all that was due us for us. What a gift. And then we see the disciples are nowhere to be found. And that Joseph of Arimathea takes claim of the body by permission of Pontius Pilate lays Jesus in the tomb that was carved out for himself. But Joseph, who was a disciple of Jesus, has had his life transformed by him. 
gives the tomb to Jesus. And then we also witness in the text that the three Marys are the ones who are there when he is buried. That there is this pause in the narrative that everyone there is feeling pretty hopeless for the Son of God has just breathed his last. He has been wrapped in burial cloths and laid in the tomb and the stone has been rolled. There are centurions guarding the tomb to make sure that no one steals the body. What a weight and a heavy moment this is for Jesus' disciples. But as the preacher S.M. Lockridge beautifully says that this is Friday. There's depression and sadness and gloom. Darkness has covered the earth. The veil in the temple is torn. It is Friday. Jesus has died. But the hope is this. Sunday is coming that even though we see the darkness now Sunday is coming I hope that you're encouraged I hope that you're challenged that you're called up but that you lean into the hope that Sunday morning is coming and you'll be close we'll be closing our Lent series by hearing from Pastor Jody and as we look at the empty tomb the Savior who got up indeed with all power in heaven and earth in his hands be blessed <laughs>